What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jemiah's World and before you buy another Mutt 23 bundle, you need to watch this immediately. I'm going to let you guys know this right now so you thoroughly understand. Right now, all these packs that are going on, there really isn't a benefit for it until the rookie premieres drop. EA Sports is going to try to draw everything. You guys ever watch a vampire movie and you're like, yo, they're wasting a lot of blood when they bite into the neck. You guys ever seen that? Like, if you're that hungry, vampire, why is it blood everywhere? Shouldn't you be drinking it, dude? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But look, let's not worry about that. If you guys are not into horror movies, it is what it is. If you are, let me know and tell me what your best horror movie is. Um, but listen, this is what it is, right? EA is not leaving a drop, all right? So when you look through what's left in the store right now, the True Champion Fantasy Pack, all these packs right here, whatever you choose to buy right now has no benefit. What you need to do, okay, is wait until Thursday to see how they're going to release the Rookie Premier program. Because when they put out the schedule, the one thing that I noticed, it said Part 1. Rookie Premier Part 1, okay? So if they're breaking it up, there's a reason why they're breaking it up. You don't have to have everything ready for Madden 24 until August 14th. You have a lot of time to do this. There is no rush right now. So for you guys that are buying bundles like, yo, gee, I got to get my coins up, bro. Like, yes, you got to get your coins up, but you don't need to do it that way. There are a lot of different ways that you can handle this. But if you guys start spending money now on Thursday, it listen. Thursday, it might be worth it to get like one of the lower level bundles. Don't go crazy because remember, most of you guys don't want to play the game after Rookie Premier. Probably why they're stretching it out into parts instead of just dropping all of them at the same time. They're like, yo, you know what? Let's just keep dragging it out so they got to wait. But you got to remember, if you take your time steadily and you go through all of this, you are going to ultimately be able to go ahead and get a free rookie premiere not only from inside of this but if you go all the way and you get one of these golden ticket fantasy packs at the end that you pretty much gonna be able to make whatever that is you know what i'm saying like coin wise uh players like donald Parham and all that stuff that's more than likely going to be in there and that's going to be auctionable so it's going to be a few things going on either the market is going to completely collapse as far as everything else other than the cards that go into the rookie premiere sets or it's going to still be stable because a lot of people can't get that specific card. Because I don't think it's going to be all the golden tickets, but it gives you a chance to be able to get it. So, when you go through all of these other things that are available, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Like, yo, G, you know what, bro? Um, it, it, yo, I got to get these coins up, man. The trade block's not there. My friends can't send me stuff. A lot of these things that you guys are saying, and I'm like, look, bro, EA Sports does not care, dude. Like, listen. Whatever, whatever they got to do to make this as excruciating as possible, that's what's going to happen. So you just have to be very, very careful with the way that you're operating, all right? So I'm showing you all of this because this is one right away. Now, we don't know how many they're going to let us complete before it's done. Because remember, you're not getting the player in 24. They've changed it to tokens that you could redeem for different things in Madden 24. So we don't even know what we're getting. That's the, like, that's the real dangerous part of everything that's happening. And I want you guys to be very, very careful along those lines simply because of that. So the reason that I'm telling you guys ultimately, like, look, just hold off, right? Until Thursday, just hold off because they're gonna add something to this with the, uh, they have another promo dropping with the rookie premieres. So you may have opportunity there also to, you know, that be part of the rookie premiere program with cards and things like that, that'll help ease some of the pain. Because I'm telling you right now, if your wallet is just open and you don't care, a lot of you guys that, that watch my videos, uh, some of you guys don't care. You'll just spend the money on the bundle. Like I said, if it's fun to do and we're having fun with the game, that's fine. But the year is over and most of us don't really enjoy the gameplay as much. All right. So that's something that I want you guys to focus in on because we do have until August 14th with early, early release to be able to, you know, play the game. So... Dude, most of us are gonna still play the game regardless that we hate it, but rookie premieres will be done. We'll probably use some of the rookie premieres, different things like that. So for the, for the time being right now, this is what I suggest that you guys do. And I've showed you guys this like, I think the first time that I told you guys about this was two months ago, because somebody said I spoke about it in April. When I was saying, guys, the draft players are the primary focus, right? Now look, it's very, very easy for EA Sports to change this up but it wouldn't make any sense because these cards are gonna be harder to get, which is how they can put different packs and bundles in the store for you guys to have to buy it again. So realistically speaking, if you guys have a decent amount of these, this is your focus right now. You probably shouldn't be too crazy going over bundles. 
Because we, again, we don't know how they're going to do it, but over the last couple years, these are the cards that you went back to get in order to be able to complete those sets relatively easy. Um, I got 399s, I'm not sure if they're going to need 399s to complete you know, get enough tokens for one of the sets, but it's better to be prepared than not, right? So most of these cards right now, he was like 300 something K. Uh, well, low threes, like 340, 330. He's kind of edging back up right now. You can see people are bidding on this one at 255 and people are watching it. Notice how all of the prices are gonna start to rise because just like me, other content creators and other people that know the game know that this is what EA Sports usually does. So this is something else that you can do in the meantime. You know, you can lurk and try to get 99 overall uh, draft players for cheap as possible and see if that works out. Now the 98s are not going to be the same. This is a huge discrepancy in price, um, you know, from the 334 to the 265. You know, you, you would look at it like, yo, I wonder how many 98s I would need to get the full uh, rookie premiere. This card can easily go up to 500, 600K or more. And we're going to see a lot of these cards that go into the Rookie Premier sets skyrocket for no reason. It's just going to happen like, yo, let's go. It is, it is what it is. So people need to understand all of these cards that are like high, you know, high octane, high value. Like this guy, you know, he gets a zero AP uh, tackle supreme and stuff like that. There's a lot of cards right now in the game that are going to just be ridiculously priced. I assume that he might be one of them. All right. Now, look. The 99 overall does not matter which pick it is, okay? And a lot of you guys know that if you're if you're a veteran. I got two of these guys. You guys saw when I bought it in one of the other videos. But some of you guys were asking, gee, does it matter which 99? It doesn't matter if it's pick three, pick five, whatever. The 99 overalls usually go in and give you a full amount of tokens that you put into the set for the rookie premieres. So with three of them, I think that would be enough. Now look, EA Sports, because they're giving us more free content, the free strat card, they're trying to draw us in with other free stuff. They may give us more tokens than usual, okay? It just depends on the way that they're gonna do the promo when they say in part one, part two. Just be very, very careful uh, with the spending because right now, remember, those points that I have, I got 1250 that's left, they don't transfer to 24. And for those of you guys that were asking about the beta, um, none of the things that you do in the beta transfers to the actual game either. Only what you get with uh, early access when it drops on the 14th stays in the real game. All right, so I just wanted to answer that as well. Uh, but look, with the way that this game is, like I said, you're gonna wanna just focus in on these. Now, the 95s, um, those are still relatively cheap. The only way that these prices will skyrocket with the 95s is if it's a, it's a real specific set that needs to be done. So I would bank on the 99s to have a few of them a 98 maybe if necessary, but the 99s usually are the big calling card and that's what you should be focused on over buying packs because Rookie Premier is the end of Madden 23. If you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to drop it right there. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.